This video is to explain how a plant becomes turgid through osmosis. So you've got your plant cell. I'm going to draw a turgid plant cell. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Oh, a nucleus, a bit of a vacuole as well. So when you water a plant, it increases the water potential. So you've got lots of water particles. Just label that water. These water particles move in via osmosis. So just label number one, number two. So it's moving from its high concentration, which is within the soil, and into its low concentration, which is into the plant. This then makes the cell become turgid. So there's lots of water in it and that increases the pressure. And this is called turgid pressure. So you want a high turgid pressure, so you need lots of water in your cell because this supports the tissue. If it's pushing on the outside of it, it's going to keep it supported. So you can write the turgid pressure very quickly. So it supports the plant tissue. So just to recap, if you need to uh, pause it and make your notes, that's fine. So we're watering the plant. So we're putting the water particles into the soil and that increases the water potential. We know that it moves from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration in osmosis. So these water particles move into the cell via that process called osmosis. The cell, then it pushes out, that pressure pushes out, so it becomes turgid, and that's called turgid pressure. The turgid pressure supports those plant tissues.